Bullshit Pop on this new radio show. My name is Sean Stevens, and this is John I Guthrie. We're from Lasso Soft, and today we are going to do some absolute Lasso Soft basics. Now, the funny part here is, is that I have personally never used Lasso Lab, and it's a little embarrassing. But I, you know, I, I've never had a chance of a blast. We've been doing, we're really busy, and you know, for all intents purposes, I, I won't use it this weekend. Now. In order to do that, I needed a little bit of a tutorial because I tried opening it up and couldn't figure out what. So hopefully you've already got Lasso Lab installed, ready to go, and we're going to start on that. Does that work for you? Yep. Okay. So today we're actually going to go through a couple of things. We're going to create a project new concept for me. Just learned about this. I'll create a file. I do know what that is. Um, and actually run that file using uh, Lasso Lab and do some, just, this is just the beginning, right? I figure if I can do this, then I can do something. So let's go back to our to my laptop here. And on this laptop, on my desktop, you will see I have two things. I've got a folder with Lasso Lab in it, and I've got another folder I created called Projects. And in that is where I want to put my code that I'm going to play with. So closing that folder, I'm going to go back. There's my Lasso Lab. I'm going to click that. I'm going to open that. Um, it's now opening up here for us. Um, it's a very beautiful purple screen, isn't it? Um, I like purple. And there we go. Lasso Lab is here in front of us. This is Lasso Lab itself. So I have no idea what to do now. Jono, what do I do next? Well, the first thing you want to do is create a project. Create a project. Create a project. Okay. okay. So there are three ways that you can create a project. You can either select from the file menu, new project. The second way is that you can press the little black arrow next to this icon here and go new project or you can right click in the script explorer uh, view and go new project okay so file menu new project you'll see that you can create a java project or a lasso project seeing as we're all about lasso today we're going to create a lasso project and we go next Oh, we so, need a project name. So, Sean, what are That's, we going to call this? We're going to call this um, Sean's first wonderful, amazing project. Don't you think you're getting yourself a little bit ahead of yourself? Can I use special characters in these project names? I have no idea. Let's try it. Okay, let's try it. Fantastic. Okay, so the second thing you need to do is you need to uh, define whereabouts. You're going to store it. Okay. Okay, so the, def the default is for it to create pro a new project in the workspace. Now, I don't really suggest you do that because if you ever want to get to those files, then you want to be able to not to put it somewhere where it's actually easily accessible. Okay. So therefore you choose where you want to put it. So you don't want to hide it somewhere deep inside the bowels of your machine. You actually not, unless, want... not unless you've got something that you're a little bit uncomfortable about, but that's okay. Right. So okay. we're going to choose create a project at existing location from an existing location okay. existing location right so over here we're going we've got a browse button clicking the browse button and uh, we've got uh, you'll see I've actually added my projects folder to that favorites list that's correct to make it simple here yeah and we're gonna inside that so we're gonna open that and we're gonna oh we're gonna create a new folder in that new folder. right that makes sense okay so and wants to be called Sean's amaze amaze I can't type project here we go and we're going to create that yep and, and then open. open that okay so you'll see that the uh the directory is actually named there the exact thing that we've we've chosen right indeed so the next thing is is the first time that you will create a project in lasso lab yes it's going to ask you to configure how you want to uh to run this okay so it doesn't yet know about the lasso 9 binaries that we have installed Binaries. Binaries. That's well, a big word. Okay. So the Lasso 9 environment. Environment. Okay. Okay. So that's an easy way to describe it. So over here we have use default interpreter and it is currently undefined. So let's define it, shall we? Okay. So we have to define it. Okay. We have to define it. So we have to tell Lasso Lab whereabouts to find this stuff. Yeah. First thing you do is you press configure interpreters. Yeah. And then there's a nice easy little button here called search. Click S that. And it's going to go and have a look uh, through your system. To try and find the Lasso 9 binaries. Ooh, it found it. Fantastic. There we go. So, pressing OK. Yeah. And it's going to gray this out because of the fact that it has found Lasso 9. We know how it's interpreted. Fantastic. Okay, it makes sense. You only need to do that once. Okay. Never again? In theory. Okay. You can press next, but we don't really need to do that right now. Let's press finish. 
to creating the project. And you'll see on the left hand side in the script explorer that we have Sean's first wonderful, amazing something. So just explain, help me. What what is this? This is this. The screen is is in four different sections. What what are those sections? Okay, the sections are on the left hand side. You have your script explorer. Script explorer. Script explorer is where you have all your projects. If we were go, so it's like a it's like a folder. It's like a tree. Yeah, it's it's like a tree. Okay, right. it's it's a little bit like the Finder. Here you have all the things from all of your projects that you have listed on the left hand side. And if we go and click that, you see that we've opened it up. And we have Lasso Apps, Lasso Libraries, Lasso Startup, and WebRoot. And I'm just going to open this up a little bit so we can see everything. Um, and so, okay, carry on. Okay, so that's... So Lasso App, Lasso... So every project has all of those things? They do. Is so it? it's a little environment. It's, a, it's like a, a sandbox. Oh, really? Okay, so you can play in your own sandbox, and if you screw it up, just delete it. I didn't know that. Really? Fantastic. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. So if you have a, uh, a, a Lasso project that requires... Uh, libraries and lasso apps and startup items mm -hmm. then you can put them in there and it will run exactly like a lasso 9 instance on your server really fantastic okay however then we have a web root and then you have your web root and this is where you put your files oh that makes sense fantastic we'll come back to that yeah I'll describe the other things later I'll describe that later inside your main window here Okay, it's a little bit hard to actually indicate it. You'll see that I'm, I'm indicating it in my, with my mouse. That's where you will be editing your files. Right. On the right-hand side, the outline is where you will see your, uh, your physical outline of the file that you are in. It will show all of your custom types and your methods. Custom types. Oh, we'll get to that later. Right. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. For another time. Right. Down the bottom, you have, uh, you have three new things that you may or may not have ever seen before problems sean your code is going to have problems no 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 no, no. no it's never perfect no. sorry even my code isn't perfect okay yeah okay. Okay. Oh, oh. carl's is but, your, but yours isn't <laughs> right right okay so there so there we see the problems and they will be listed there um some tasks that's tasks. uh we'll get to that later as well okay in, in another in another video and then console, and we will see that in action very, very soon. Well, it's just basic. So basically, uh, the, the things that I'm going to use here are the top three I'm going to be using. I, I just want to create a simple file here. Yeah. So that makes sense. I'm, Should I'm, we start then? Let's start. Okay. Yes. All right. So I'm excited. All right. Under WebRoot, if we right-click on WebRoot, then we will bring up our new, uh, new Lasso file. What are you going to call it? Um... Test.lasso. My, my first file. Dot lasso? Yeah, dot lasso. Does it have to be dot lasso? Yeah, well, Oops. you know, especially if you spell it right. Um, right. Yes, I, I, su oh, I that. suggest that you actually do need to have it as dot lasso. So let's keep it simple. Yes. Lasso can run other types of file extensions, but dot lasso is the thing that comes configured out of the box. Okay. Fantastic. So, so I'm going to my first file and, and finish. Finish. Ooh, there's a little triangle there little now triangle. beside WebRoot, let's and, go and there's my first file. So let's go and open that up. So you'll see that the color of this has changed. Yes. When it's uh, when it's just a um, gray a gray icon, then there is actually nothing inside there. Oh, I see. The directory when there is something inside there becomes well orange. Puke orange. Right. Yeah. That's okay. nice. I like that. So there we have our my first file dot lasso. It has automatically opened it up inside that that middle area. Yes. And now we can write some code. Ooh, can I write some code? You can write some code. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to write some code here. Uh, here we go. I'm programming. Yes! There we go. Right. Now, you've got a problem. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> See the, <laughs> the, the, the little red X? That's, that's good code. That's good code, but it's a problem. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> the problem is the fact that you have actually got a, uh, some, some leading space in there. Some leading. Okay, so it doesn't know how to actually interpret that. Oh, I don't get it. Okay. So, what Lasso 9 is actually doing is, is, is it is interpreting, it is passing your file for problems. Right. Lasso 9 also does automatic type detection. Automatic, automatic type, type, detect type detection. Okay. So, therefore, if it sees a blank space at the top of the file, it doesn't know how to interpret that file. It doesn't know if it's going to be an HTML or if it's going to be a raw Lasso file. Okay. So, if we were to delete that, it goes away. 
I see, but I wanted a space in front of it. That's not good practice. <laughs> it's not good practice? It's not good practice. You just wasted, okay. You've just wasted space. <laughs> <laughs> I have just a waste of space. <laughs> enough. Okay, so, uh, so now it's telling us that it is valid. It is, it it is, is totally valid. valid. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I made a mistake in my first line of programming. Fabulous. I'm proud okay, of that. Okay, so let's save this. Yes. Okay, so I could press Command S, but in actual fact, we're going to do this visually. And we're going to try and get the right menu and go save. First time using a mouse? Yeah, first time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, usually, you know, thought, thought process, you know. Right, right. Now, should we run it? Let's, let's run it. Let's run it. Yes. Okay. A couple of different ways we can run this file. Because we want to see what today's date is. Yes. It's going to be very revealing. We have a little play button up here. A run button. And it also says run. Run. Okay. Okay, so Click let's it. just press run. Down oh, here in the console. Down, the bottom, down here in the console. You actually told, see, that's right. I told you you'd get, we'd, we'd see the console in action later on, right? And it, the date's right. Today's Look date. Look at that. Yeah. It's, hey, that's why I'm so hungry. Yeah. It's, right. pe it's pizza time. It's pizza time. Okay. Indeed. Right. We better hurry up. Well, it, uh, what else do we have to talk about? Because I'm hungry. I want to go get some pizza. Okay. Works for me. Okay. So there we have. We have uh, Lasso Lab creating a project. Yes. Creating a file. Yes. And running a file. And re we did that. Yeah. Fantastic. High five. Thank you, sir. No worries.